Hey guys, it's Kralis and welcome to the second episode of Timberborn. So just sit back, relax and enjoy. And judging by the comments in the first episode, there was a lot of face palming going around amongst you guys. But hey, that is how I play games. Either we fail or we succeed. But, but hopefully with all the tips and tricks you guys left, we should make Beaverton a thriving beaver metropolis. Is that gonna happen? I don't know. Drought is approaching. I've paused the game in between episodes. I added a little bit of extra farm field over here for potatoes for, for all the Irish beavers and a little bit of carrots over here. So, um, yeah. Food, not bad. Water, it's gonna be terrible. We have so many beavers and that's something you guys told me about. Kerales don't expand too fast because there's gonna be a lot of beavers and they reproduce very fast and they're gonna die. And yes, they will die. But let's see here. Let's just jump down over here. What do we have? Lumber mill? You know what? I, nah. I'd rather have a beautiful farm in this region because it's green than wasting the space on, on building factories and industries. So let's just demolish those to, to begin with. Uh, let's maybe keep this over here. Okay, that is paused. That is great. Uh, okay, that, that, I mean, they, 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 they might die from first, but they will have beautiful staircases and, and, and platforms all over the place. So let's maybe decrease the priority on those guys, like I so. saw. I did bind the, the priority key, so yeesh. That's going to be super helpful. I do want to have more of those water tanks. What does it cost to, to upgrade to the next category? Let me see here. That is... Okay, that requires gears, and we don't have those gears, but that has a capacity of 300 units of water. This is only 30. Huh. And how about those water pumps? That is something we're going to be needing quite, 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 quite now. I want to place, if I place those tanks, see, this is what I mean. Like, I want to have those tanks going all the way for aesthetic purposes, but the beaver skirals, they will die. They, they, they might, they might, but they will die in style, okay, as I say. Let's do and one, two, three, four. Those, those, those. That's so, such a waste. Let's boost the priority on this, 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 this. A little bit boosted. Like that. And then we just get those guys up and running. Uh, maybe here instead. So let's go one, two, and three. Boost the priority on this guy, this guy, and this. A little bit, I guess. <laughs> Don't try. I'm hating myself so much. But, but we can make this happen, okay? We can make this happen. I ho I'm hoping at least. And let's just get one and two of those in. Let's see. How's the priority on this? And let's just... Oof, I'll just have a normal priority on that. Okay. You know, we're still the gameplay. Yes, drought is approaching. It's, it's going to be terrible. Also, one thing you guys said, okay? Obviously, we have beavers and they build dams. So, this dam blocks water but allows some pass, pass through. Blah, blah, blah. Levy. Um, I would need floodgates, right? Because when drought comes, I could build a dam over here, but that's going to overflow my lands, I believe. So having a floodgate, then I could control the water flow a little bit. Uh, shall we, Keralas? Or maybe... Okay, let's just see here. If I want to have a beautiful... I could block this off. Block this off up here, maybe. And then every drought, I could just close both floodgates... And then this water will still be within the whole thingy majiki, right? That is how I see it. Where would one have this up here, though? That's the question. Can we have this? Okay, I guess that would flood my lands. So that is not no go. Maybe up here. Now, okay, that water is, I guess, higher, right? Or the elevation is higher, as I, I see it. So let's maybe do. Do I have points? Yes, I do have points. <gasps> no, 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 no. Okay, how much does that cost? 150. Because obviously starting over here would be the ideal way to go. But okay, we did this thing now. And hopefully this is going to be <laughs> in our favor somehow. So let's do... Do we do it over here? For, for testing purposes, I will do it over here. I will have like a normal pr priority on this, I guess. And for those guys getting down here, I think we need to make a little staircase just over here. Perfect. Well, well, well maybe. Can I make a staircase over here as well? So they're going to be deleting all that. Get rid of those resources and this over here. Like that. I'm going to build a beautiful path going all the way up here. And maybe take advantage of those pine trees up here. Amazing. Man, why haven't I played this game before? 
This is super intriguing. And I love it. There's so much to it as well. But let's see here. How are we doing? Speed is up. Drought is approaching. It's going to be ending in a, in a horrible failure. They've got tons of water over here. Everything here is working out. Okay. We might need one more stockpile. You know what? No. Let's maybe spread those stockpiles. I think somebody's told me about that. Like, have many of those. Like, maybe just here, for example, and have logs in those guys. That means... As soon as we build something in the vicinity, they will have like, like a close way to travel to get to grab the logs. And even this guy, I guess we can just get that and he's gonna get the logs just from those outside. Maybe we should just get this over here built up with those, with those, what you're gonna call it. Those damn parts. But I'm afraid that it's gonna re- like... Because blocks blocks water, but allows some to pass through the spillway on top. But what is some? Because we, we just flood all the fields here that's bye-bye to the crops, right? So I will rather maybe wait for a few more points and get the floodgates in. Yes, that's what we're going to do. That is what we're going to do. And hopefully this will be enough. If we do this over here, get the floodgates and hopefully they can travel like a soul. Uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. Bear with me, okay? Bear with me. One day, Beaverton <laughs> will be thriving. <laughs> yeah, like as I said before, Rome must not be built in a day. Neither will be Beaverton. Because that is almost up and running, right? Get materials for this. Come on. Build it up. Ooh! Hmm. I was thinking of it. I did see this. Somebody mentioned the builder's hut. So this would employ additional builders. And that's something we would need. But I'd rather invest in maybe opening up this floodgate over here. Yes. Like, the, I think the dam maybe would be the way to go. But then again, so if we have this over here, that's going to be blocking the water, blocking this off over here, and then every drought we should be having this lake we just within here, and the land's going to be green, we can be farming stuff, maybe not technically pumping water, because, because of reasons, because that's going to drain the, all the water I guess we have. How does that look, by the way? Okay, drought is, is, is approaching quickly. So when the water is a bit deeper, it seems to be staying in place. So if we maybe make this deeper later on, like the whole like your riverbed, that should be good, good to go, right? And then this water source is a bit higher up, so we could have a huge dam in this region later on. I kind of want to make use of this area, maybe some more water wheels. But Kruals, we're not there yet. Well, technically not. But but we will be eventually. Let's get this builder's hut built up over here or unlocked. And that is a thing which can be placed. Okay, this will be such a bad idea. It really won't. Let's do not that. Is it this one? This one. So let's do one and two, maybe like that. You might be asking, but what is happening? I, I Honestly, I don't even know yet. But I want to have one of those builder thingies on top of one building. Something like that. I think this is going to look really fab. Once done and once completed. We still have the planks for it, so I guess we can boost the priority on this. And then we're going to have additional builders. I mean, it kind of looks cool, right? I think it does. Ooh, ladies and gentlemen, we have survived. Cycle 6 begins. And we have 80 beautiful beavers in the community. We have 8 babies, 72 adults. And uh, yeah, th 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 this might be the end. Am I a bad beaver mayor? I think I am, right? I might be terrible. The downside of this is, I mean, that, like, we're doing this, and this one would hold 300 units of liquid. But that needs gears, and we don't have those gears. That is just 30, so we need 10 of those in the same capacity as this one. And that is just a little bit titty bigger. Okay, so gears is going to be a, a thing, I guess. Maybe clear off this and build a little gear maker over here. Or maybe... Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what we're gonna do. That's what we're gonna do. We're gonna do this, 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 and that. And I'm like, I'm all over the place! But I don't want my beavers to die. Dying is bad. Dying is terrible. Ooh! Two of those have been completed. So let's see. Where does the water... 
let's just slow this down a little bit, I guess. Maybe not. So we could technically block this off. If I do that, that means there's going to be more water coming this way, right? And we still have a little bit of spare. Yes, you can see the elevation of the water is very low. So if we would block this off over here with a floodgate in the future. Or can I do that now? Don't do it. We have tons of building projects. Yeah, 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 yeah. If I would do this guy. I'm like, okay, this is too far away from the whole thing. It's too far from the district, so I guess just here. There we go. That is for the future. I will see if I can block this off and maybe have more water flow, which means more power for those guys over here. Ladies and gentlemen, we just require 10 more planks. And 8 logs. Look at those guys. Look at those guys. And then we will have our first floodgates. Which is super necessary, I guess. Maybe not. Can we reach that, by the way? It is too far from a district. I, 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 I. Can I... If Okay, I'm not sure this is... A, is that going to be a thing? If I would build a road within the water, will that reach those guys? Yes! yes. Okay. Temporarily. And then when this is done, we can just remove those. Right? So let's boost the priority on both those. There we go. That's going to be the next build project. And next drought, we will be having green fields of bushes and crops all over the place. It's done. Okay, so let me just see this. So I close this. And does that drain all the water straight off? Okay, it goes really quickly. Okay, so let's open it up like fully. And enjoy the tsunami of water flowing through the whole community of ours. Still not building this. They're like, nah, ain't gonna build that. How are we doing on this? Seven logs. Okay, so that is gonna be a thing very, very soon. Let's boost the priority on this guy as well. Everything is just boosted priority and they have no clue what to do at this stage. Everybody's like all over the place. But we did survive the drought, okay? Okay, don't judge me. I know we have like projects all over the place, but I think this is filling up very quickly. So this could be like a little temp storage uh, area for all the logs. Even though it's much further away from everything we are building at this stage. But this over here. This will be done before the next drought. Like, I'm hoping this is going to work. I'm really hoping that this is going to work. How are we doing over here? Okay, logs are being carried. Potatoes are being harvested. Everything is fantastic. Well, not really. Also, having the floodgate over here means... Does that, does that floodgate have, like, a spillway on the top as well? Hmm, blocks water by just on a height. Okay, so I don't think it has. This, this one have. But I don't think this one does. This is almost done. And we can just adjust the height. Maybe we can do this straight off. Let me see here. Does the, does the water go up here? Or does it all just flow on the side over here? I guess it just flows on the side. Hmm. Huh. So maybe we can just have like... Because now we have synchronized with adjacent, adjacent flood. Oh, dude, dude. Open up. Maybe just have a little bit close to like this. Or if, if I don't take, say, synchronize, then I can maybe close this fully, right? Close this fully. No, no, no. Close this fully. This. This. And this over here. And this one should be opened, right? Or maybe the two middle ones should be, should be opened. So this is closed, this is closed, this is closed, this is closed. And the middle ones are open. Does that mean the water still rises? Because if it does, and if it works, that means we're going to have tons of water for the water pumps during droughts. Now it goes down. Okay, so maybe close one more. Hmm, interesting. I think... I think this works. Or maybe... Ooh, maybe not. Maybe not. Let's, let's open them up. Let's open this maybe halfway. 
We'll see what happens. I'm not sure if this is going to work or not. Yes! Okay, so this is done. Now we're going to be building this up here. We're going to have additional builders all over the place. I will boost the boost priority on all those for the next drought. Then we're going to have tons of water tanks all over the place. We still have quite a bit of planks. That makes me super happy. We're going to have additional builders over here because we do have quite a bit of beavers unemployed. 23 to be precise. Can you guys get rid of this tree? 650 water. We should be good. Look at those guys doing their thing. Amazing. And I will build myself. Where was that? The gear workshop just here. Yeah. Boom. And then in between here, we will have, as soon as they are kind of, kind of clear off this guy, boost the priority on that, we will have a little um, power shaft going in between. And we will have gear production. Can I? And what is that? That is logs and planks. Grab those guys, please. This one and this one as well. Okay. In three days, we will have the next drought. And this will be the, 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 the turning point of the colony. If this works out, that is. So I'm going to close this. Or maybe I'm going to have that open and just close this when drought hits. We will have to get rid of all the pumping stations. We'll not get rid, but just pause those pumping stations. Because otherwise we will pump out all the water for the crops, right? This looks, this looks insane. <gasps> Can I do one more? Don't do it, Kralis, but look at this. This will be a fab. Having one of those over here, and then we can build more of those platforms. Having another path going like this. Maybe building this further out over here. Uh, let me see here. Like that. Uh, a boop. There's a building which is not connected. Oh, it's this one over here. Don't worry. Boop. There we go. And that's gonna be the potatoes. Let's get one of those guys up situated over here. Boom. Is this build up? Yes, it is. Let's have one of those guys. And then we will have two. Like, I'm loving this. This brings, this really brings me back to like the, the, the banished days. Just, 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 there's a lot of micromanagement over here all over the place. But, uh, but it's, it's, it's super awesome. Okay, let's boost the priority on this, this, and I guess not needed, but we will. So let's say I would have a water wheel. How many, hmm, pause it. How many can I squeeze in? One, two, and three. Now I want to have more. Can we do more than that? I'm not sure why you can't place... Oh, you can place it over here. Interesting, but you can't place it... Well, you can kind of place it over here. So one... No, no, no! One, two, three, and four. So, yeah, let's let's not do it all at once. Let's have one build up, I guess. We're gonna clear off this land. We're gonna have more of the the the, the gear workshops over here, which I will prioritize, by the way. Because having this guy producing gears means we can unlock the big uh, the big water tank and store so much more water. Let's let's close this. Okay, I'm, I'm hoping this is going to work. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, which button is that? Let's go all the way down here and I will pause every single pump. Hopefully, we can go through the drought without having to use them. Seven days of drought! Okay, that is not great, ladies and gentlemen. That is not great. I can still be pumping a little bit of water, I guess, but seven days of drought? Where is the drought heading? Is it already could still be pumping a little bit I guess should we close this I don't think that's necessary hmm okay we will see what happens we will see what happens we are making gears I repeat okay that is super awesome that is super awesome because now what we could do is this uh, we can unlock the big tank we have tons of points, so let's do that. And we will be building quite a few of those somewhere about in the community. Maybe even... Okay, so that water wheel is up and running. So the question is, do we do gear makers or what do we do? 
I think this is going to be used qu quite quite a bit in, in, in a later stage. So let's get rid of those trees over here. Okay, there's going to be a path going all the way through here. And I guess we could get rid of all this like so. Amazing. Perfect. And then we do the gear maker. Hmm, how many do we do? Like one and two? Yeah. Maybe doing a plank makers. Uh, nah, we should be good with this, right? Because I could get rid of this. I could get rid of this and have gear makers here as well. Because the good thing with this over here now is that even when 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 the tide is low, we can still be powering those buildings using using the the the, the windmills. It might be not super efficient, but we will be producing gears. And what we could do here is maybe even have. Okay, so we will need the the, the beautiful plank maker later. That is eight hundred science points. How big is that? Can I squeeze that in here? Let's see here. See so if I squeeze that guy in like that then on the side over here we could have okay it might be a crazy idea but we could have not that one but this little hamster wheel and hopefully that means that if i build this hamster wheel over here we can squeeze in uh this plank maker and then then if everything is bad this, this little hamster guy will be powering can maybe like you can even make uh, windmills over here on this side. Oh, by the way, we can now do this. We can build the uh, little tankies. Maybe here back. Can squeeze those in. Maybe even here, here. Okay, let's do, let's do one, and and two. Okay, this is terrible. And you know why this is terrible? Because this is like usually the droughts be just a few days. This drought was said to be seven days that's a whole week and as you can see water levels are going down drastically so it's it's either pumping up the water which we have in the reservoir which is not big 168 well so far they are alive and thriving i guess question is for how long yes this guy is built up perfect so i can do this i can plant my blueberries gonna have tons of blueberries here Gonna have warehouses here. Or stockpiles. Yeah, I don't think, I don't think that's gonna be any blueberries. Here, but, 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 hey, we'll see what happens, okay? We'll see what happens. And then I'm gonna do medium warehouse. Uh, pause this. Medium warehouse like that. Getting maybe one and two platforms. And uno mas, please. Like that. Will that work even? Yeah, it will. Because if I get rid of this, we can have a staircase and a path. And there's going to be tons of berries. I'm thinking, that do they yield more berries than like the normal bushes though? Because they're like planted? No, I don't think they do. I don't think they do. We have we have plenty of food, so we will survive. We will survive when it comes to uh, when it comes to the the food situation. Oh, dude, what you what you, what you what you doing over here? Okay, yeah, 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 don't worry, don't worry. What we'll do, we will plant beautiful oak trees all the way here. Oak trees, and they're going to be planting all the way through here. And here. And here. How are you doing in water? Yeah, not great. Yeah, but I mean, it's either that or just dying from first. So pump it up, please. Everybody pump it up. You know what I'm thinking? Like, maybe this reservoir will last throughout the whole drought because now we had a drought which was seven days right we have 150 water remaining and, and by the looks of it we have quite a bit water left in the reservoir and the thing about this reservoir thing which we have is that this kind of stays green throughout the drought so we could we could technically make a path going up here like this and we could have like a little bit of wood chopping business here like me not not a lot of those guys but maybe maybe like two one and two and then just having this as the area of cutting 
that's gonna be quite a quite a bit of logs for us because now we don't have any logs that sucks but yeah was removing that blockage this whole thing should be green we can plant all the trees on this side as well that's how we do it that is how we do it and then let's get this guy and let's get this guy planting in this vicinity and it's gonna be pine i like the pine i don't know why maybe it's just because it has the resin as well but it has 12 days for two logs nine days for one that is chestnuts that's something we could have somewhere as well maybe even yeah we'll see what, where this takes us okay we'll see where this takes us i would do this over here all those will be chestnut trees and then we're gonna have boom 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 and paths Like the whole, the whole, the whole idea for today's episode was to get this community up and running with with food, self-sufficient food and water, and so far we have succeeded on that. But those guys, they they will be planting planting the chestnuts, but you can't you can't cut them down, right? Because cutting them down will not yield any chestnuts. So that's gonna be like that instead. Perfect. How are we doing? How are we doing on planks? Okay, this guy is up. I can proudly say that we have survived the drought. Yeah, we have. Seven days of drought. And we still have we still have plenty of food. Plenty of water. Plenty of water in the reservoir. Everything is just coming along nicely over here. But let me just get Okay. <laughs> kinda jinxed it. Uh, open up this over here and open up this. There will be, there will be water very soon, hopefully. Dang it, such an idiot. Well, technically, maybe not. But it was a little bit bad, because now it's going to take a, a bit of time before the water reaches. And the crops will die. One and a half days. Nah, we should be fine. We should be fine. W will we? Yeah, 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 yeah. We should be fine. How are you doing on this? Gears are coming in. Perfect. That's going to be water. And this is going to be water. I do want to conserve my points, but at the same time, 50 points for a shower. Can we put them down over here? No, but we can if we do two platforms. And then the showers for well-being. Look, I mean, who's the good beaver mayor in the city? Well, obviously me, the one and only. Get this prioritized and this. Maybe even I did more showers. If I would do this... No, that would be this, right? Okay, I think this, this might be a little bit of face ball meantime. Because I believe that is going to be blocking the water flow. And obviously, having showers means they're going to be pumping out and using the showers when the drought hits. So I was thinking of it. Okay, this, this, this might be bad. But this is to future-proof. How is that? That is 600, but it costs steel thingy majiggies. I don't have those. Can we? Okay, don't, don't go, don't, don't, don't judge me. Having those here, we'll pause the, the construction, obviously, because I can't afford them. That could be something like that. And obviously, every single one of them will be having water for the moment. Oh, yeah. That is something I need. We need... What is it? Is it the the grill? Well, it is. So we need one of those guys. Like, maybe... Hereabouts? <laughs> yeah. Let's get this guy built up here. And then we're gonna have two gatherers. Uh, or one or two. One or two, at least. They're gonna be gathering the chestnuts. From the trees over here. Prioritize the chestnuts and in chestnuts in the future. This guy is gonna be doing the grilled chestnuts. Cause why not? And then we're gonna have gonna have a staircase. <laughs> so this is top awkward commentary, but are we loving this? Well I'm loving this at least. Look at those! This is built up. I 
I don't think water is going to be an issue for us. I'm hoping it's not going to be an issue for us. Those guys are just waiting. Why is that not built up yet? Please make this happen. Oh, dang it. That needs to happen first, I guess. What's happening, sweetheart? You're injured. By the way, are the showers up yet? Not that we care. Well, let's let's unlock this. Let's unlock the little like bed for those guys. Medical bed. It's a spot where injured beavers come to rest. Okay, so let's unlock that. The beautiful bed for 80 points. Yes, I know, I know. We should done. Doesn't matter. And let's just squeeze them in. Just in the back here. I mean, a treated beaver is a good beaver, right? Resume the build process on this guy. This is built up as well. Amazing. Yeah, you don't have any resources, but you will eventually, okay? You will have the chestnuts as soon as, and as those grow. Can those guys reach the whole region? Yes, they can. I mean, look at this. Eight logs each. Some warehouses maybe here. One and two. We do have the points, by the way. Do I spend the points? Do I spend the points on unlocking the wood wood workshop? 800 science points. I will, because I need the big water pumps. So let's let's do this. Let's demolish. Let's demolish those two, please. And hopefully we can still squeeze that in. Perfect. Perfect, perfect, and perfect. Let's resume the build process on this. This. And this. Going on. Oh, ladies and gentlemen. Look at this. We have showers up and running. I'm not I'm not a big fan of this. The bad water. We're eventually going to be needing that, right? Can I? A little bit without you. Can I reach that? Those ruins? Hmm. Interesting. Don't do it. Well, it's not going to be like a prioritized building at this stage, but I think, can I reach those somehow? Because if that would be the case... We'll see what happens. Maybe that would be a thing. Then we can get all the scrap metal from there as well. What is a bad tie, though? That's that's the thing. I'm not sure what that is yet, but but we'll see. It's such a waste of space. But but yes, and you might be about white grass. We're gonna have the treated planks on top of everything over here in the future. That is now. This doesn't have any planks to be built yet. Perfect. That is perfect. So we have three of those. So when the drought comes, they should be powering all those lumber mills at least over here. And this guy, this little running guy, will be powering those gear makers in, in the future. As soon as this is built up with the planks. But the planks are coming in. It's going to be a work priority. Maybe not. A little bit higher. Okay, 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 okay. How many unemployed? Only three. So I will do like a, like a tiny expansion with just some mini lodges maybe or maybe just the normal ones. Not fancy or anything, but let's do one. Like this might be a subject of change later on. Oops, wrong button. But for the moment... Yeah. For the moment that's gonna... Okay, so that it is only two days. Question is, what is the bad tide? Okay, I see. Maybe. Okay, this is bad. This is bad. That's what is. That's why it's called bad tide, girls. Yeah. Because it's going to be polluting all the water, all the way down streams, all my tree farms, everything. This is bad. This is bad, this is bad, this is bad, this is bad. Okay, stop it, stop it, stop it, stop it. Bad, bad, bad tide. How are we doing on the... Okay. 
Let's do this then. Let's close this fully. Let's maybe open this up or close this as well. I'm going to open this up. Maybe the thing is going to be bypassing that way. And then what we need to do is close this over here. Get that up. No, 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 no. Oh, you know what we should maybe done? Maybe unlock this blockage here somehow. Because if, if we remove this blockage, I believe all the water is going to be flowing into this area instead. But, but I don't dare. I don't, I, don't, I don't dare. Let's inspect what happens. Because can, as you can see, everything is just dying when it comes. It's kind of like a drought. Should we maybe turn off the showers? Because they're going to be they're going to be using the water in the little thing. Nah, it's only two days. It's only two days. Not bad. So it is bypassing. It's, it's a little bit flowing in here. But as you can see, the main portion of the forest over here is... Oh, it's dying. <laughs> it's dying. It's coming. It's coming in! Okay. That was a good call, opening that up, I guess. And then it goes all the way throughout here. What is that? Bad water source. Okay, okay. This is done, by the way. Perfect. It was not operation, or operating now, but it will be eventually. Like, I mean, just what can a man do? Not, not that much I can do. Just wait this out, and hopefully... The, well, the crops are not dying. So the crops are cool. I wish there was a little bit of winds, so they could be powering. This guy is just planting, and everything is dying in his path. Yeah, look at that. Everything died, dies in 11 days. Okay, those should be able to bounce back. Is there anything we can do to prevent this from happening? Block water, storage of heights, blocks of water. Contamination, contamination barrier, I guess, would be a thing. Huh. Well, if it's only two days... We, we, we fine. Uh, you, you, sir. Oh, yeah, you need a path up. Yeah, 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 don't worry. It's gonna be built up. People, people are on the case. Chase is on the case. Sorry, Mike has been watching, like, the Paw Patrol. It's just stuck in my head. It was years ago this is they watched it, but... But, yeah. Cycle 8 has just begun. And, and then what? Okay, good water is coming down again. It's not bad. It, it's, it's not it's not bad. Okay, this guy needs gears. So obviously... We need logs. We need logs. Purchase by holders and purchase by holders, I guess. I'm, I'm, uh, well, there is no point of resuming this now, okay? Because look at all the badness over here. There's good water. When I see good water over here, I can maybe open this up. You know what? Let's, let's see what happens. Let's see what happens. Pause the game for briefly and let's unlock, uh, let's resume all the pumps. Let's pump up the jam. Pump it up. Hey, yo, pump it up. So those are resumed. There we go. And then open up. Mm, let's not, not synchronize this and this and open them up fully like that. And then open this up. Fully? Yes. What happens? <laughs> oh, this is bad. This is bad. This is bad. This is bad. Did it die? Oh, okay, that's just flooded. Okay, that, that's... It's, it's alright. It's alright. This, this, this. And I think we are alive. Okay, they can't, they can't shower because of, of the contaminated water. But that, I don't care about that. As long as the crops didn't die, well, some maybe died over here, drying. Okay, some of the crops maybe died. A lot of those, I guess, died. No, it, nah, it, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine. We are alive, we are, we are thriving again. We do have the points to unlock the, the storage building, the large warehouse. But Kiraz, you wanted to have the, the thingy-majiggy. What thingy-majiggy? This. The pump, the big pump. That is 400. 
I can't afford 400. Let's get the large warehouse. Shall we? Big is this? It's huge. This one is huge. Can I? Hmm. Hmm. You know, yes, I know what you're thinking now, okay? I, I guess we can just empty them to another container. Shall we empty those guys? Yes, empty those guys. But it's just 30 units of water. There's, that's like nothing. I'm gonna build myself those warehouses over here. So let's do a little platform. Let's prioritize the platform building over here. It might not be the best idea I've had, okay. But but the berries, man, the berries. We seem to be stocking up on so many berries. So I'm gonna squeeze in one and, and, and two of those maybe. And then what I do, I will build one. <laughs> um, could be a thing. Could be a thing in the future. I'm gonna wait with that. Because I'm not sure how that's gonna look. But at least what we could have done here is get a little path going here. Staircase going like that. Then just having this. And this could be going to even bigger things later on. But yeah, so this guy over here, it has a capacity of 1200. He's gonna be having baddies. This one, baddies. This one, baddies. So all of them are just gonna be berries galore. It will take a while until everything is built up and so, so but it, it'd be great. What are you waiting for? <gasps> oh, I forgot about that. So this guy, to get those magical planks, well, three to the planks, he needs resin. And to get resin, we need... Who do we need? What do we need? Forester? Okay, we need... Oh, dang it. So to get the resin, we need a tapper shack. And that is 500 science points. And that is points we don't have at the moment. But that's going to be up next for the agenda. Then we're going to poop him down maybe somewhere like in this vicinity. I'm going to demark some of the, the, the trees from, from not being chopped down. Maybe even here in the far end. We'll see. But that is that is the next objective for us. Don't ask me why. We just done those over here. This is for the future. I'm going to make this, this a great place. Maybe even demolishing this over here. Getting a staircase built up, like so, like this. And then we have a path going for, for, for no reason. No reason at all, but they could be climbing this. You know what I mean, right? But ladies and gentlemen, should I, we just be leaving you with this? Because I've been playing this for, for about one and a half hours. And I'm so loving this. I, like I could be continuing this for like forever. I'm not sure how I'm going to cut this episode down even. But uh, yes, I was saying, we need one of those, uh, what are you going to call it? The medium warehouses for gears as well. Hmm. Hmm. I just maybe make a small one. How big is this one? Can I squeeze that in somehow? No? 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 Maybe? No? 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 Okay, no. Okay, so hopefully the, that is the case. Can I store gears in this? Yes, indeed I can. So it's going to be 60 gears. Not a lot of gears. But we just made use of that space. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, as I said, thank you so much for watching. I'm, I'm adoring this game. I think this is such a cool game. That just requires a little bit of extra planks. How much is that doing? 49, 49, 49. It's better than nothing, right? And they are producing my planks. If food is great, water is great. We set off today's episode to just stabilize that, and I think we have succeeded it quite nicely. I'm hoping I can reach this over here, but please do leave some tips, tricks, and suggestions in the, in the, in the comment section, and I will see you guys in the next episode where we're going to just continue. We will continue this, and hopefully we can expand some more tech in the next episode, as we have stabilized food and the water situation. Should we resume those guys? so expensive girls it's so so expensive we need water 
We definitely need water. As I said, thank you so much. This is adorable. As I said, thank you so much for watching. I'm going to see you guys in the next episode of Team Born in a day or two. It's a fantastic game. But we are alive. Beaverton is thriving. Thank you so much. And I'm going to see you guys in the next episode. Bye-bye.